it, Sherry J. Hill here again with Concentric Productions, Inc. And today we are going to talk about Lolia. Lolia is from Spain. If you worked for us in the past, you may be familiar with these fun polka dot bottles. Lolia likes to say that when uh, Lolia comes, the party begins. These are great products for any kind of celebration, and we have found that to be very, very true. We are super excited to get another campaign for Lolia, and today I want to talk a little bit about the flavor notes and the products themselves and how to pour them in the correct order so that you guys have the tools you need to be able to sell more on site. So you can see the products here. We have the number one, the number two, the number three, and the newest is the number five. The number three and the number five are not in all of the locations. Right now they're in Whole Foods, so if you work at Whole Foods, you might see these in this set. Fresh Markets and the rest of the groups, we're gonna see only these two, the number one, the number two, the red and the white sangria in those locations. So let me tell you a little bit about the flavor notes and a little bit of product information. The number one is a Tempranillo base, which is a traditional Spanish wine. It's a good base for setting up the sangria. It's got citrus flavors, including orange, lemon, and a little bit of peach, but not really strong on the peach, and it's got a hint of cinnamon, 7% alcohol on this. The number two is a Moscato base, which makes it a little bit sweeter than the number one. And it also has orange and lemon, and it has a very strong, very fragrant, flavor and aroma of peach. And it's really unique. People who love it absolutely love it. Also, underlying little notes of vanilla. 7% alcohol on this as well. The number three is a Brut, more like a champagne. It's more sophisticated than the other offerings in that respect. It's a little bit less sweet than the others. It has elderflower, which is a very delicate flavor, and green apple. Uh, this is 8% alcohol on this product on the number three. The number five is the newest product from, Sang from Lilia Sangria. This is a rosé. It's a Garnacha and Tempranillo base. These are traditional Spanish wines. Has hibiscus flower and ginger. Very, very, very delicate notes, very delicate flavor um, on this particular wine. 8% alcohol on this as well. So let's talk a little bit about the order in which you would serve this in, in order to get people's palates positioned so that they can enjoy the flavors the most. It isn't really as important if you only have these two. These two are interchangeable. I really probably would just go in order from one to two. But if you're in a Whole Foods and you have these offerings as well, you have to work backwards. The rosé is so delicate that if you don't start with this one, by the time you get to it, you, uh, your palate is basically wrecked and you can't taste the flavors that are really delicate here. So if you're in Whole Foods and you have rosé, start with the rosé, basically work backwards, um, pour the wine and set it in front and start with this one and advise the customer that you'd like for them to try everything that you have to offer and see if you can get them to try all four offerings, starting with the rosé. Same thing, you put the cup, you know, pour the white, uh, the brute, and do that in a second order and then this one and then this one. So they have all four. Not everybody's gonna try everything you have to offer. Sometimes if they try the first one, they like it, they'll go ahead and try another one or try all of them if you can entice them to do it and then pick a favorite. You have a much better chance of closing a sale if you approach it that way. Um, people who love it, love it. They take it right off the table. They take it from the display shelf here and sometimes they take more than one bottle. Sometimes they buy it by the case. <laughs> it's really popular wine. If they can't decide, suggest that they take both flavors. Surprisingly, they do. People take both flavors or all four flavors. Um, so you can look for that. I wanna say it has the same sugar as a regular glass of wine. The bottles you can see are super cute, reusable. They say that the wine lasts 10 days in my refrigerator. I can't say that they last 10 days because the wine never lasts that long. We drink it, it's so good. Um, but it is a good seal. People use these for water bottles. They take it to yoga. They take it when they're doing uh, you know, hiking, whatever. People put oil and vinegar in them. They get used for all kinds of fun stuff. People use these bottles for crafts. I'm gonna show you, this is just so cute. People have polka dot parties. This is really popular in the football world because these colors are popular. I mean, how cute is that? Um, let me show you real quickly how to open and close the bottle because people want to know. It's like a growler, like if you've ever seen traditional uh, German style beer. It comes with this type of top. People collect these. I always put them on the table because believe it or not, people take them. I don't know what they use them for, but it's super cute. They, the little stopper thing goes down like that. You pop it down to open it. 
you do the opposite, just like that. Very, very super, super cute, very easy. People love it. So that's basically the detail about Lolia. Um, I know you guys are gonna have fun selling it. It's, people love it when it's in the store. So have fun, sell wine. We'll see you next time. Thank you.